hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome also today i'm gonna be doing a review on the disney frozen 2 makeup i'm gonna be also doing a review on the lip gloss this is ultra glossy lip i actually got this from color pop to send this also in the box in the mail but before i go in and check these out it's actually pretty small palette as you can see there's not much shade inside excuse my thumb guys my finger got stuck in in a box that I was trying to open and my nail was like this long and then it break in the skin I tried to put bandage but it's so uncomfortable but guys before I go into my video I'm gonna be priming my face with the cover fix all drop I'm actually going to shake it. You know it's winter time, so I feel like my skin is a bit dry. hear that and I'm gonna go in with my primer the cover fix primer this is the magnifying primer actually never tried this one before I try others just have a look I'm gonna go in first with the fire. I'm gonna use that as a transition color, which is this one here. I'm gonna go over my other eye. I feel like they're easy to apply. I actually wish it was like a a bigger palette. So you can get more color options, but to be honest guys I I I've watched I believe part one that I about part two I'm not sure if I'm going to watch it but I just wanted to test these out and see because I've never tried any Disney makeup before so I just wanted to try these out because they just came out I received emails about new makeup that releases so I got an email about this so I decided to buy it because I do reviews and makeups it's the reason why I buy it so I'm gonna go in now with a brighter color it's let's see at the back because I cannot see the spine lip this is this one wow I'm just gonna go Let's just put some on this eyeshadow. 
that eyeshadow. I lash so. I think this is very pigmented. Wow, this is actually pretty good. I think I'm gonna be going in with the uh, Fari just to do like a glitter eyeshadow look. Before I do that, I'm gonna go in with some concealer. Uh, guys, the color is pretty bright. Currently, guys, red is actually my favorite color, so. Just gonna go in with my concealer and Glitter eyeshadow. Glitter um, eyeshadows. They get filed out. So let's see if this one is gonna be like that. Probably. Mm. Let's see, guys. I'm using actually a small flat brush which I think is good to so this I'm gonna go in with a flat brush also but it's not a flash flat as the other one and I'm gonna go in this here actually it does not want to come off and when I the way how it's falling off let's see I don't like the way how it came out, but I like the way how it stick onto my eyes. I actually really like how it sticks on onto my eyes. There's actually not much fall out. I don't know how long they're gonna stay here for. As you can see, it all came off the brush. It's barely anything in it. Which I actually like. I'm gonna go in under my eyes with the red color, which is the. Oh, I gotta go at the back. I can't even see properly. Spin lift. I can see the words 
the name of the eyeshadow is better. I'm just gonna get my eyelashes on and finish off my look and I'm gonna be trying this at the end of my video so so far guys I actually am wearing right now is from BH Cosmetic these are actually really easy to apply so if you guys looking for any lashes that's easy to apply and looks pretty good i would definitely recommend trying these so now guys i'm gonna go in with my foundation but before i do that i am going to go in on my dark spots i'm using the ellie girls concealer I'm going to go in under my eye just for those dark circle under my eyes and I'm going to go in with my beauty blender this beauty blender also from BH Cosmetic I use this beauty blender like all the time guys so I really like it it's like it's a velvet feeling on your face and my beauty blender is actually it's damp beauty blender so sometimes I use setting spray most of the time, the time I use water whichever one you prefer The foundation I'll be going in with is from BH Cosmetic also. It's almost finished, so I have to go inside. I'm just going to go in that with my beauty blender.
gonna go with my setting powder this is from Sasha I actually got this off of Amazon I've been using this a while now actually I changed up my setting powders so this is like looks like it's actually never been touched under my eye because my eye shadow some of this had been removed so I'm just gonna go back and just touch it up I'm gonna go in with a bronzer. I'm gonna be going in with the Tashika Pachika Bright Bronzer. I did a review on this. a bit of the blush and some highlighter just to finish up my look now final products guys let's see if i like this this is the way it looks i'm just need the mirror so it can This is like Christmas. Yeah. Actually, I really like it. This is not something I would wear like all the time, but. Now that it's around the holiday, this is actually a pretty good lip gloss to wear. And if you don't like wearing lipstick, because before I get into all this different type of makeup, that used to be my preference. Just put a lip gloss on, but not this shiny. 
this can't even work to. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would really love you to come back on my channel because I'm going to be uploading a lot more videos and new products, clothing videos. I've uploaded clothing videos before. If you haven't checked those out as yet, make sure you do because I did a few videos from Fashion Nova. Okay, guys, my final thought and these products I really do like playing around with them I like how my lip look I like how my eye shadow turn out if you like this video guys give it a thumbs up and see you guys in the next